Hello and welcome to today's video where you'll learn how to boost your PowerPoint skills by adding some subtle but engaging animations to your PowerPoint slides. By creating a video background effect and text overlay, you can see here that we've created an appealing and professional slide. On it, you can see multiple things going on. First, we've divided a video into four elements that animate on the slide as it starts. Our video background begins to play complemented by some elegant text to reveal your message. Now, let me replay the slide one more time so you can see all of the elements come together. This design can be tailored to any topic. You can always adjust the theme, colors, shapes, or text. Bring your slides to life by adding just a few simple animations. Let's get started. By the way, we're UXEC. We create business presentation templates and spreadsheet models to save you hours of work. Follow us to receive weekly business templates and spreadsheets that will propel your career forward. So here's the video that we're gonna to manipulate to make our background. First, I'm gonna save this video as a picture. Then we'll insert the new picture onto the new slide. We're going to cut this image into four pieces, essentially one for each building. So I'm gonna show you how to crop just one of these sections to save us some time, but the process is essentially the same for each, so just redraw your shapes to fit each section. You can kind of see what my pre-cut images look like here. To crop the first section, go to Insert Shape and select the curve line. Then start to draw your outline around the building. Make sure you're holding down Control and Shift so that the lines stay straight. Once your shape is drawn, select the background picture and the shape. Go to Shape Format, Merge Shapes, and select Intersect. So now the picture is cut into the shape that I just drew. So here you can see how I've cut the image into four pieces already. I'm going to copy all of these pieces onto the slide that we're working on. Now we're also going to copy and paste the video we're using onto the slide. Go ahead and send this video to the back so you can see that it's now the background. Next, let's add the text. First, we'll create the title text by inserting a text box and changing the color to white. Before adding the body text, we're going to create the rounded rectangle we see behind it. Go to Insert Shape and select the rounded rectangle and then draw the shape. Right click and go to Format Shape. Remove the line and in Fill, we're going to select the Picture or Texture Fill option. Click Insert and select the picture we had taken at the beginning of this video. Then go to Picture Format, click Crop, and select Fill. We're going to increase the picture size until it matches what's already on the slide. In the Picture Format pane, select Artistic Effects and add the Blur effect. Next, in the Shape Options pane under Artistic Effects, you can adjust the radius, which is essentially the amount of blur, to the setting that you want. Next, we'll reduce the transparency to 3 or 5%. I'm going to go ahead and go with 5. Then, select the text box. Right-click and select Bring to Front, and if you need to, adjust the position of the box. Then, we'll add the body text. So this is what the final design looks like. And remember, like all of our other videos, you can get the slide we're covering in this video plus 500 other business templates to save you hours of work. Just click on the link below. All right, now it's time to do some animating. First, go to the Animation tab. Select the two buildings on the left and the building on the far right. We'll wait to add animation to the one in the middle. Add a fly-in animation. In the Animation pane, select Start with Previous and set the duration to 2 seconds. For the sections on the left, we'll change the direction to, you guessed it, From Left, and for the right element, we'll select From Right. So this is how those animations will look. With all of the animations selected, open the Effect Options pane and go ahead and add a smooth end. Now, select the middle image and add a float in animation. Make sure to start with Previous and enter a delay of 2 seconds. Also, set the duration to 1.5 seconds to get this type of effect. Now, let's add animations to the text. Add a fade animation to the title text. Select Start with Previous and set the delay and duration to 1 second. Then, go to Add Animation and select Lines. Click Effect Options and select From Right. Then you can go ahead and adjust the animation path. 
Next, let's add animation to the background shape. Go to Add Animation and then click More Entrance Effects. Then select Expand. Set the delay to 3 seconds, and now for the last text box, add a fade in animation. We'll set the duration to 1 second and delay to 4 seconds. So here is how the slide's looking now. And last but not least, let's go back to our video background. We'll need to add a delay to the play animation so that it starts playing after the initial animations. Once the video starts playing, we'll have the four pictures in front of it fade out. So first, I'm going to select all of the pictures and add a fade animation under the exit section. On those animations, set a three and a half second delay. Now, select the video behind the pictures again and make sure there's a play animation on it. Drag that play animation to the bottom of the animation pane. This means that the video will start playing as the pictures fade out. Also, add a fade in animation to the video that will go above the play animation. Make sure to adjust the delay and duration as you can see here. And here we have our final animation. We really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions or work in the industry and have any feedback, feel free to leave us a comment and we'll get back to you. This slide is also a part of a more complete PowerPoint deck we've put together that includes other slides like this. If you have any suggestions, let us know. Thanks so much for watching.